Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition. Lift off. Go Falcon. Go GPS. Vehicle is pitching downrange. Stage one propulsion is nominal. Thirty seconds into flight, propulsion says the Merlin 1B engines are nominal. We're on trajectory and preparing to throttle down in preparation for maximum dynamic pressure. And we're heading into the throttle bucket as we power down the Merlin engines. And throttling back up now. And when the engine's back up at full power. And we have gone past Mach 1. Waiting now for Max Q call out. The vehicle is experiencing maximum aerodynamic pressure. Guidance engineer reports we're passing through the period of maximum aerodynamic pressure called max Q. From here on, as the speed picks up, the atmospheric density decreases and the loads are reduced on the Falcon 9 vehicle. Propulsion power continues to look good. The trajectory looks good. MVAC engine chill has started. The engine chill in call out on the MVAC second stage engine indicates we've begun chilling that turbo pump like we did with the first stage engines, getting ready for ignition of the upper stage engine. Now coming up in just over 30 seconds, the usual three sequence event that'll happen in rapid succession. Main engine cutoff will shut down the nine Merlin 1D engines. You can see glowing there in the night sky. Stage separation, and then we'll get startup of the second stage engine. Nice view from the ground camera looking up at the nine Merlin 1D engines on the business end of the Falcon 9 first stage. Stage separation confirmed. And back startup. So we've had a good separation. MVAC up on power. On the left screen, the first stage continuing to coast down range as it begins to deploy those large titanium grid fins. Trajectory continues to look right down the middle. Both stages are following nominal trajectories. Guidance confirms we're on nominal trajectory with both stages. Acquisition of signal, Maryland. Maryland reports they've got signal from the second stage. Next event coming up is payload fairing separation. Fairing separation confirmed. A nice view from the camera looking forward. The GPS-3 satellite with the two payload fairing halves separating. Everything continuing to go well on this mission. Three minutes and 42 seconds into flight. First stage continuing to coast to Apogee, headed downrange. 